welcome back to week 39 of the Iron Man Road to Completion Escape series. Starting off this week with a little bit of smithing, uh, just making a few rune claws for some swift components. They may come in handy at some point. Um, but in all reality, it's actually 99 smithing. I promised two 99s for this week, and uh, well, hey, the first one to start this week. Also, that's virtual level 2700. Though that doesn't really matter much, I need actual 2700, which may happen by the end of this week. And I knew exactly where to go, down to our old friend Thurgo's house. Of course I'll pay you. Least it's not a red berry pie this time, and there's the smithing cape. Not bad at all. I can't remember what that bonus is. Um, finds the effect- oh yeah, goldsmith gauntlets. Well, uh, <laughs> don't actually need those anymore, do I? Of course, it's after the clip that I realize I could get style points for making godsword blades, and it would help me realign my capes tab, because it's all shifted off by one, since I have one too many things up here. And I believe with this tree, I'm going to hit, yeah, 96 farming. 3.3 mil to go, and hey! like the most useless thing in the game because it's way overpriced. For some reason I didn't even think to record it, but uh, I just attached the Charming Imp to my tool belt. Uh, I've been working on Slayer as I said I would, and uh, yeah, the points are really rolling in, and uh, I had enough left over that I can skip a few tasks if I really need to, but you know, 500, bam, Charming Imp. Because I've been doing Slayer, I've been you know, really worrying about just how many prayer potions or super restores that I go through. And then I remember, I have thousands of grimy herbs down here. 1,200 Renar, almost 1,300. And then, uh, where is it? Snapdragons? Just over a 1,000. Uh, and plenty of secondaries to make them. Except I may be short on Snapegrass, but regardless, um, yeah. Don't know why I worry about these things anymore. Firewatch, take care of everything. Oh, and I've been recently uh, using my uh, Divine Locations, at least since I finished Divination. Um, my daily Divine Location has been uh, Herb Patch 2 and 3, uh, so that's why you see some of these smaller herbs coming in, and uh, the rest of them just build up over time. Uh, plus, it's some farming XP each day. I've got a bad habit of forgetting to bring these Ushtabi Ushat Babti along with me whenever I do uh, Slayer, uh, but I did manage to collect two different souls, uh, and I'm going to add them to the chest, so there's Mature Grot Worm and Greater Demons. Um, it helps a little bit with the reputation I need in Menophos, and uh, it's actually some decent Slayer XP just to add on top of what you get from tasks already. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I came to do this, and there's, like, I gotta do 250 laps, and there's, like, the annoying monkey pet. I say it's the annoying monkey pet because I absolutely hate the sound of it. I love that I have it now, but I hate the sound that it makes repeatedly. Like, uh, the best example I can think of for, like, another pet does that to me. There's this little... This guy. Is it this guy? This guy. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so let me let me just pull out... Where is it? Wow, does that... One, two, three, four... Seven? Jeez. Yeah, but there he is. And uh, I'll just go ahead and do the examine. 12.389 mil. I'll uh, do a few more laps with him out, but man, that... <laughs> That surprised me, because I was like, wait, I shouldn't be getting fireworks now. I already completed the challenge. <laughs> wow. And after a decent bit of grind, I'm now able to claim the Agile Top. There we go. So uh, that's going to knock out yet another requirement. Uh, I don't think it's actually a comp requirement, but it is a Fremenic task, I believe. Uh, yeah. And now I just slide on down for the achievement. Bam! And I figure if I'm going to be doing a lot of Slayer, I may as well make myself a Luck of the Dwarves. Uh, so I'm going to disassemble 
all of the various clue things that I have, aside from like the pages that don't actually give uh, give anything, or the like rune trimmed. Um, gonna make sure that all of these actually do give components on the wiki, uh, and I'll be pretty close. If I don't have enough, I've got an easy, medium, hard elite here, and three more elites through these Triskelions. So uh, we'll see how close I get. Well, I ended up uh, 15 short. Um, so even all of the clue scrolls aren't going to get me there, but I may as well go ahead and run them so that as I get more, you know, eventually I'll get to the luck of the dwarves. Well, that's absolutely horrible, but I guess that's about what you can expect from an easy clue. And here's the medium casket. Let's pop that open. Hey, it's a, um, pith helmet? Never heard of that before. Let's uh, put that on. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, it's like a safari cap. Huh. Well, I think, uh, because what was in there is worth, like, 600k, it's probably, yeah, fortunate component. There we go. Well, that's just disappointing for a hard clue, so I guess I'm gonna re-roll, even though that did have some good bank value. Oh well, um, these aren't that good either. If only these tickets that I don't bother using in the first place could give fortunate components. That would be fantastic. Let's hope that at least the Elite Casket has something good in it. Uh, I think that's a component? Yeah? I mean, it seems like it's worth like a mil. Um, so yeah, I'll take it. Uh, well, in reality I should re-roll it, because you should always re-roll when you can. Could be a die on the other side. And I'm still a lot of components off, so you know, I'm just gonna go for it. Fine, cool. You know, it used my reroll, and uh, this is still one of the components. So let's just go ahead and bam. I thought it might finally be time to upgrade this crystal pickaxe, so I'm going to take out the Enlightened 2 Wise 2, and, uh, yep, destroy the gizmo, and replace it with a Wise 3. Uh, so that, yeah, I get 3%, basically. Makes it a little bit easier to reach that 50,000 XP cap. You know, for the little little slight gains that it does grant. Also thought I should mention that I made a uh, bit of an upgrade to my chaotic crossbows. I made them both augmented now. Uh, probably only going to be siphoning them if I do get invention XP out of them. Uh, but I figure if I'm doing Slayer, like Celestial Dragons, I should be using Dragonbane bolts and not the uh, Sunspear ranged. Um, just made a little bit more sense. Also, made my first Scrimshaw. A superior scrimshaw of ranging. The, uh, probably not going to make any use of it. And hey, there's 101 Slayer doing a Celestial Dragon's task with the uh, newly augmented Chaotic Crossbows. And on to the next day, finally finishing up this skill. So happy about that, and I'm really close to 450 million XP, so another good mark there, but BAM! 99 agility, plus an extra little bit there from the <laughs> manifested knowledge. Let's uh, let's go get that cape. And I can't remember if the parrot sells it, or if the uh, captain himself, but let's see. Is it true you sell skill capes of agility? Certainly. And I got that nice little blue and red cape uh, with the useless perk, but there it is. Not bad, even though it's got that really old icon. I'd actually kind of like this icon to be changed to the new one, but uh, it's fine. And uh, scratch what I said last week about going for Slayer right now. I'm going to hold off on that for the moment, because uh, according to my friend here, uh, he can still wear his uh, the Reaper title, and uh, he has 0kc at Magister. So um, yeah, I'm gonna see what happens, and uh, see if I can't get away with, you know, not having to bother with Minifos or 120 Slayer, anything like that, and, uh, comp, you know, like, two months earlier. And I just finished doing quite a bit of Ganodermic Beast hunting. Uh, come over here to this tab, and you can see I've got lots of saplings built up. I had already banked some as well, so most of these, uh, come from them as well. And, uh, yeah, Big Bone RDT drop that I'm gonna disassemble for Pious Components. But, there's another set of Ganodermic Gun, and yet another Sun Spear. Bam! 
plus an invention level, 113. And doing an Abyssal Demon's task, just picked up 97 strength. Getting pretty close to that 99. Hopefully I'll get a few more Abbey Demon tasks and uh, push it along pretty quickly. I know I said I wasn't going to do any Slayer, but I need to 99 strength and I need Charm, so I still have to do some. Did another hard clue, uh, but this is the end of an Elite Casket, because the hard didn't really have anything to show off. Let's see. Wow. Oh, a Rune Plate Legs Bandos. Uh, I guess I'll take it, but I can re-roll, so... Mm, well, okay. It's like 20k farming, and that's actually a lot of coins. That's a surprising amount of coins for a treasure trail. On to the next day, and I'm doing some various comp requirements. You can see here, I'm picking up the Memoriam Crystals, and uh, accidentally bought the wrong clan cape for a million coins, and then I had to buy the right one for another million coins just to get this last Memoriam Crystal. That was pretty painful. Oh, and then it turns out I only needed that for a title, not for a comp requirement. So rip two mil gold. <laughs> oh well. And uh, with this, I should be done with all of the Memoriam Crystals in the game. Um, yeah, that's all of them for Saren here. And then I've done all of them in Freneske. So I think, uh, yeah, I think I'm done with all that. And here's my weekly Tears of Gothics just before the weekly reset later on today. And that uh, picks up a construction level, 95. I couldn't be bothered to make construction higher than my farming, so I'm just going to keep putting it into construction. It saves me part of an hour of, like, the worst skill in the game. And with this, I'm going to purchase the last piece of invention technology that I need. Bam. Invention gives me the blues. Uh, just going to do the discovery here for a little bit of XP. But hey, that's taken care of. One less thing to worry about checking each day. And hopefully before too long I'll have the uh, Motherload Ma unlocked that can help me push towards some of those completionist goals. And on to the next day. Just picked up 98 Summoning. Uh, I think it's going to be one of the last levels I end up picking up this week. Um... Uh, and probably the only clip for today, but uh, that's taken care of. I only have a few crimsons left over here, and a few blue charms left, making Karamthulu Overlord pouches, because don't really have any tertiaries. Um, but yeah, still had a few mil of gains though, as you can see. 458 mil from the last clip, it's a plus two gain, so yeah. But had a pretty busy day otherwise. And on to the last day of this week, been working on some Slayer. Bam! Oh, that's not quite the invention level. Let me see, is there something else I can disassemble in here? Yeah, that's right. Chaotic Crossbow. Disassemble that for the components. There we go. 114 invention. Gotta go buy another one of those. It cost me like 200k DGXP, but uh, that's fine. And doing a farm run, just picked up 97 farming. And for one of the last clips of the week, going to disassemble this Sun Spear. Bam! It's another 500k invention. Got one or two more Slayer tasks to go, and that's it for the week. And here's level 98 strength. Come on, give me the. There we go. 98 so 1.2 mil left to go in that skill pretty easy to knock out next week if I keep doing Slayer at the same pace that I have been and you can see I'm using my Dragon Rider Lance here because I wanted the strength level I don't really care about the ranged XP and uh, it's actually a little bit faster than ranged if you're really paying attention uh, which is pretty nice also same task level 102 Slayer uh, inching towards that goal for the Magister, though I still don't think it's required, so uh, pretty happy about that. And to end off this week, I'm going to be opening this last effigy that was in my bank. It's going into farming, and it's the gorged effigy, so there's 30k XP, and a dragonkin lamp for an extra 45k. 
And though I said I'm ending off this week, there's actually one more thing I want to go do. Because I'm sure you guys enjoy seeing big XP drops as much as I do, I am getting all 34 of these penguin points put into farming XP. They've been built up for a while, and that is 132,000 farming XP. That is actually a really significant amount, because that leaves me at just about 2 mil left to go for 99. Uh, that's about a whole farm run worth of XP, uh, now that I think about it, whenever I do all of my hardwood trees and all of my fruit trees. Uh, but anyway, that's it for this week, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.